Okay, maybe it's not changing my life, but the productivity gains I'm having, as you will see today using AI tools like Claude 3.5, really is. I've been preaching the term AI engineer a lot on this channel, so I think it was about time I did a bigger project using only AI tools. The app you can see here is built in just 10 hours. It's a full stack project with payment system from Stripe, the meme generation is from OpenAI, and the design elements is mostly from Midjourney. So let me just take you through how I did this, and I want to show you some crazy memes using the app at the end. Okay, so I always like to start on Cloud 3.5, create a project, give it a name, and I want to set some custom instructions for each project I want to work on. So you can see the instructions I gave it here, pretty standard. Then I want to use a visual prompt, so I, you can see here is the app I want to do today. We have the front end, the back end, I want the user to upload an image, I want OpenAI to analyze the image, write the meme, and integrate the meme with the uploaded image, kind of burn the meme into image, and then return it back to the user, right? So that is my app. I take this image, I include it in kind of the first big prompt I have, right? So this prompt try to describe kind of a basic start for the app. And yeah, we went ahead, we got some React instructions, how we could set that up. So I just went over to VS Code Studio, installed my React app, and everything should be kind of ready to go. And yeah, I just followed the instructions, uh, I installed the dependencies we needed, Firebase tool, OpenAI, logged into Firebase, and I created a project over on Firebase, yeah, you can just call it what you want. And yeah, that was basically the setup I have, I included Google Analytics, and some pretty basic standard stuff here. And we went into our project, and you can see this is project a bit far ahead but basically you get this dashboard here that you can use over on Firebase so very easy to use and then I just continued I uploaded my folder structure I like to do that and we started working on kind of creating components we can use in our app so here we have started working on the front end part we're gonna test out some logic you can see we can sign in using Google that's perfect we can start from our dashboard, we can try to upload some images. Here we have some more information about our pricing. So the front end is looking pretty good, but the back end was not ready yet. So we had to work a bit more on that. So I went back to Claude. I included all kind of information I had missing. I went to OpenAI. I added some, yeah, stuff we needed for our back end, some OpenAI API stuff. And I just included all that into our prompt and let Claude 3.5 do its thing. We did some debugging, and you can see I copy some console errors here. We go back and forward, we keep testing, and yeah, there you see, we upload the image, we can click on generate meme, but we still had some issues, you can see we got some errors here in the console. Like always, I'm just gonna copy those errors, go back to Claude, try to work out what's wrong here, and do some more debugging. I think we're gonna try again, click on generate meme, still have some issues, we're gonna copy that, right? Go back to Claude 3.5, do some more debugging. Yeah, it's just a nice way to go back and forward and try to solve problems using this LLMs, right? So I paste in the error here, and yeah, we get something back. I go back and forward again, so a lot of work. And now, voila, we have our first meme. So that is pretty cool if you ask me, so yeah, perfect. So now that we have the backend logic pinned down, I wanted to work a bit more on the front end. I give some instruction, I upload some image of the front end we are using now. I want to make some changes, right? So I just go back and forth here, include some image, and yeah, wanted to improve my style. So you can see kind of the first version we got back here. Looks pretty good, but it's missing something. So I went over to Midjourney, started creating some assets using the Pepper Frog, right? Because that's the name of our app. I think we got some cool stuff back here, and I just... Save that, and I went back to Claw 3.5, gave some instructions how I want the images to be included in our front end. I uh, got some instructions back, and yeah, you can see it looks pretty good if you ask me. So you can see all the pages have some assets, we have the Rick Roll video playing in the background there. And yeah, basically the app is working pretty good now. But you can see we don't have burned the uh, memes into our image, so you can see we tried to do that, that was a big fail. Uh, I did another attempt, that was also a big fail. <laughs> Uh, so after going back and forward a bit with Claude 3.5 here, I think we kind of nailed it. And yeah, I gave, just gave some instructions that I wanted a black box below the image to burn the text on. So you can see I added all the assets for my front end in just to the public folder, right? And I deployed that. And if you go to the page now, you can kind of see everything is included. I think it looks pretty sick, if you ask me. I really like the theme and stuff. 
And now if we generate a new meme, perfect. You can see now that meme is kind of burned into the image. We can click on regenerate meme. And we have the credit system up and working. So you can see we generated a new meme here. And I went ahead, I bought the domain aipepe.tech. I think that was pretty suitable if you ask me. And here you can see me starting working on the Stripe integration because we want people to be able to kind of buy credits to use on the app, right? And I think Stripe is just perfect for that. I talk a bit about Cloud 3.5 here, about how we can do this. Uh, you can see me trying the first time here. I got some errors. I think I just copied those. I found out, oh, I was missing products. So I went ahead, created some simple products that can pay credits. Asked Cloud3 back again to kind of implement all the things we have set up now. And yeah, if we test it out now, boom, we get sent over to Stripe and we can buy some credits for our app. So that was very easy and easy to do kind of with Cloud3.5 instructions. The app is now running smooth on the desktop, but uh, we had some issues uh, on the mobile because I want people to use this on the mobile too. So I did a few screenshots. You can see the login here is a bit strange. I gave all of those instructions to Claw 3.5, asked it to fix those, and it came back with some good results, as you can see here. Now the mobile version is pretty good, it's working smooth, we can upload the image, use our iPhone, I set some security risks, like we can't have big images, we must have the correct formats and stuff, right? And at the end, I just wanted to make some slight adjustments to the front end, so you see I move around some buttons, here I use ChatGPT 4.0 to kind of help me with that, and yeah. Uh, you can see also, I always try to use the Cloud 3.5 project app here to update my project knowledge, always include my full files, my instructions. And yeah, that worked pretty good if you ask me all through the project. You can see I opened a lot of different chats throughout the project. And yeah, it was just smooth to work with and I really enjoyed it, so recommended. Uh, but now, uh, I think the app is complete and it's time to head over there test it out, see if we can create some cool memes from our new app. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of the app, so this is kind of the desktop version, right? Uh, so new users get three free credits, so if you want to try it out, just uh, follow the link in the description and go test it, you will get three free credits to run this. Uh, but I thought before we log in, I just wanted to show you the backend part that we use with GPT-4.0, uh, what kind of prompt and uh, yeah. API setup I have for this app now. Okay, so here in my backend you can see we have the uh, OpenAI function. So this is running GPT-4.0 now. We can easily switch that to Mini if we wanted to try that out. We might do that, let's see. Uh, we have a system prompt and we have like an input so that is kind of the prompt. Uh, in our prompt I added some meme topics that I think is funny. So the app is about computer science, software, yeah, culture, what you call it. So I try to cut the niche down on this. And here we're going to feed in our image URL to our backend. So this is going to be the signed URL from the, the Firebase. So in our backend, in our Firebase, we're going to create a URL that kind of contains the image the users upload. And we send that to GPT-4 right, and we return the, the meme. And we have some other stuff I'm not going to go into now. We burn the meme into the image and stuff, but I'm going to skip that. Uh, let's go back to the app and test it out. So to log in, it's pretty simple. We have something called login here. You will get sent into my login page and I have some more styling here. And I'm only going to use Google now because I don't want to keep passwords and stuff uh, in uh, Firebase. Uh, so I'm just going to use Google sign in. If you don't have that, I might change it later. But for now, uh, the only thing we can use is Google. So let me just sign in using Google here. Okay, so when we sign in, the first thing, you've been rickrolled, right? So let me just stop that video. So that is kind of something I added. So you can see I have 96 credits. And if I wanted to, I can click on buy credits here. We'll get sent here. And yeah, you can buy 10 credits for $1, 30 for $2.50. I'm not sure about the price yet, but let's go back here. We got rickrolled again. And uh, let's upload an image now. So I'm just going to click on this. And uh, let's take this. Yeah, this is like a standard meme, right? So we can upload that and we get the message here, generate meme, right? Okay, so almost there. So the next part is gonna be, okay. Uh, when the 10x devs were just 1x nerds. <laughs> okay, uh, that was a bit funny. So now we can regenerate meme 
And this is using the same image, but just adding a meme, right? So we don't have to upload a new image. That was one thing I wanted. And just like that, we get a new ma meme. <laughs> First 10x devs coding in their parents' basement. That was not too funny. So let me try to upload a different image and see if we get a, a something completely different, right? Let's do the Zuckerberg uh, sunscreen photo and try to create a meme from that. Move fast and break things on vacation. <laughs> yeah, Not too funny, but uh, at least it kind of recognizes Zuckerberg and it uh, relates that Facebook slogan, right, to the meme, so I thought that was pretty good. Let's head back to our backend and let's try the new mini version. So I'm just gonna upload our model, right, and let's push that. And let's try it out when, uh, yeah, when this is pushed to production. Okay, that was done. Let's go back here and refresh this, right? And let's upload a new image here and try it out. So I think we're just gonna pick this uh, classical meme image here and generate and see if we see any difference now when we are using the new OpenAI GPT-40 Mini. Okay, so I must say it was a bit quicker. So we have the code compiles, must be a feature, not a bug. Not too funny. Let's try to regen this and see what we get now. Looks good to me. Now let's deploy it. It's not too funny, but it's kind of catching kind of the, the meme topics I have, right? I think I'm gonna revert back to GPT-40. I think that worked a bit better, but it's much cheaper GPT-40 Mini. So if this was supposed to be on scale, I would definitely choose this, right? But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to share today. Uh, I will be doing like an in-depth tutorial on kind of my full workflow, but that's too long for my YouTube channel, so I'm gonna do it on the member section. That's gonna, probably gonna be like an hour plus video, so if you're interested in knowing kind of exactly how I did this, this was too much for this video, just follow the link in the description, become a member, and I'm gonna work on that tutorial probably over the weekend, and then we'll see, I don't have any ETA yet, but it should be pretty soon. And just to finish this off, what a breeze to actually can create this app using the kind of assistance you get from both GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So, really excited for the future of this. Uh, I'm gonna keep learning about this. How fast can we actually deploy a SaaS or a, like an AI app? Uh, yeah, call it what you want. So yeah, really exciting. Really looking forward to the future, uh, working around with these tools. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope it gave you some inspiration. And I'll probably see you again, maybe tomorrow, uh, at least on Sunday. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Speak soon.